from Showrooms Online and today we are at J17 and that is in Sandbach in Cheshire and we're here to see these show homes here and the first one we're going to look at is the Barwick, a three bedroom terrace terrace. Now this is on the end terrace. Now this has got a lot of detail on it here. This is from Barrett's classic collection and you can see that lovely band of engineering brick around the bottom and just above the, the, the window there. And it's a really nice house and so let's go and take a look around. Hello. Hi Andy. Welcome to the three bed Barwick at J J one seven. Yeah. Do you know I was going to say J two O there? Yeah. Well, we can go into that just for that. And we're in Sandbach. Yes. The Barwick. Barwick is one we've got on, but it's nice mm -hmm. to bring it back up to date a little bit in a bit more of a see what tweaks they've made to it. Yes. So and so the Barwick in this instance is a three bed terrace. But the house yeah. next door is not a bar. A lot of developers so. have a house this size, don't we? So this is yeah. Barrett's answer to that three that three bed. It is. Right. Downstairs WC. Yeah, nice and spacious. I like it. It's actually got a lot of room in here. Um, nice corner sink there by Twyford. Nice wallpaper. Well, yeah. Mm. And you've not got a window, but you've got an extractor fan there as well. Yeah. Okay. Right, so... Um, downstairs storage cupboard there with the RCD box and a cupboard door. So what could you put in there? Well, Coats, wellies? Yeah, actually for a buggy. It, yeah, it's good space. Yeah. Good All space. Bits and pieces, yeah. Right, kitchen. Lovely. Right. Dimensions, three meters uh, seventy one by two meters forty six. So they've got a bit of a, a bit of a breakfast bar kind of yeah. thing, haven't they? But you've got room for a table there yeah. if you wanted. Bank cupboards here. There's a lot of storage space. Some isn't of there? what you see in this house might be an upgrade, yeah. so you need to ask for sales negotiators. Right. Fridge and freezer. Sorry, I lost my train of thought then. Uh, lots of cupboard space actually. So you've got yeah. the oven, you've got a hob, extractor, all that. Right, this will be integrated dishwasher. A lot of the similar house types in the market are like a more open plan, aren't they? Yeah. It was nice to see the kitchen separate. This house doesn't have a utility, so that is yeah. your washer dryer there. Again, you need to ask what's included. But nice window there to the front. You can look outside while you're washing up. It's very nice. Uh, this this continue that splash pack's quite nice though, isn't it? Very nice. I like the chrome sockets actually. They, yeah. they pop, don't they, with the white. Oh, very nice wallpaper. Do you feel that? The texture, it is. Ooh, viewers, feel that. Isn't that lovely? I'll take you in, take you in. Look, look, there glittery. Yeah, yeah, right. So, at the rear, we've got what is called the lounge dining room. Yeah, this is a bit of more of like I say, a multi purpose space, isn't it? You can have it in any configuration you like, absolutely. But large patio doors there to the uh, to the rear garden. Uh, this garden is that it looks very nice, but it's actually shared with the, the show home next door as well. Yeah. I do like these smaller windows here either side. If you, so if you just want to open the window for a bit of fresh yeah. air, you can just pop them open rather than having to have the big doors yeah. open. So let's have a look for some measurements. So you've got large banker sockets there. So you've got four, four yeah, plug-in sockets media. and media, TV aerial. Four meters six by four meters 45 in here. Do you think they've made the best use of the furniture in this space? Well, it shows you that you can have a dining table in here if you yeah. want. I mean, if you've got a table and chairs in your kitchen, you may not need one in here. But, you know, everyone's different, aren't we? We all yeah. live in different ways. But you have got room for a corner sofa in yeah. here. There's plenty of places you can have it if you wanted it. You could just have it as one great big lounge. Oh, yeah. Or maybe have a desk or something as well. Yeah. So, many, many options. So, downstairs cupboard, cupboard there, there, that's quite nice. Have that turn. Um, that stairwell's been plastered into that very nice yeah, indeed. I mean, we've even seen it before where there's been a desk in there. So what? Sto what? And people use yes. the cupboard as a study, there's but it keeps all their work bits and pieces out yeah. of the way and out of sight. Actually, I think I remember they took that. What that wasn't actually a cupboard; it was left open, we wasn't have it? Seen it open, yeah. Yeah. Have, so that's what I'm saying. We've seen it laid out in many different ways. Coming back and seeing newer versions and upgraded versions of Sorry, the I house types. Sorry, the light fitting. That's just caught my eye. Very nicely dressed. Just give a pan around. Show what I'm on offer. Right, we'll take a look upstairs. Right, first floor then. Um, so, 
together at the rear. So we've got bedroom three here. That's got a little built-in cupboard there. Angelina Ballerina. Very nice to put a little bedroom. Right, bedroom three, two meters seven by one meter nine. Obviously that could be an office, it could be a nursery, it could yeah. be any number of things. It could be a walk-in wardrobe if you so wanted. Bedroom one here then at the back. So this is the master suite. Three meters sixty-three by two meters fifty-nine. Could at push get you could get a bigger bed in there. You could. Um, right, I mean, I need to uh, the find the switch? light. Is it, is I it think it's point? here, over here. No. Is it that side? The other there side. It is. There we go. There it is. I don't know why it can't just be there, but but you know. Anyway, so we've got the down the, the ensuite here. Yeah, ensuite to the master. Yeah, bedroom. looking good. Looking good. We got uh, we've got a very very. It's a very small shower, it's, uh, you know, adequate. Well, it's not, it's actually standard single size shower. It's not small, it's, that's it's a standard, a standard size. is it? Yeah. Am I, are you telling You're me? You're getting it wrong, aren't you? Well, it's what? small compared to what we've seen. That's a standard size, you can get much bigger yeah. showers. Why is that not any bigger? Because they've got wardrobes here on this side. Oh, I see, okay. Yeah. Okay, well, we've got an electric shower unit there, haven't we, look, so that. So there's no window in here, but it's a good size ensuite. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So, it's, so, I'm assuming those fitted wardrobes then are standard. No, you need to ask. Mm. Usually, fitted furniture is an upgrade. But you could have a bigger shower. <laughs> you could if you wanted. Yeah. Just pan around, show the viewers the bedroom again. <laughs> they tell us off for not getting a good look at. Uh, I always go for a last minute pan when I leave the room. Cupboard here on the oh, landing. This is, yes, quite. Oh, it is a cupboard. Yeah. That's useful. So too, much space. It? If you think of the cupboards that are here in this yeah. house. So this is your main bathroom here. Then. So you're at the front of the house here. Yeah. So the WC is just tucked around the corner there. Yeah. That's a little good. Yeah. It's, good. Little it's quite look. different. Oh. The layouts of this bath. This this is very different to the layouts we've seen. So I'd be interested to actually look at the other layouts and see what they've changed. Because I'm, this is not looking familiar. I like the way it's laid out though. Yeah. It feels a good sized bathroom really. It's got a window. Yeah. Right, then at the front you've got bedroom two. Now bedroom two, three metres eleven by two metres I think this is the step up house from the two bed, isn't it? So if you've got a mm. two bed and you just want a bit more space, then this is perfect for you. Mm. There you go. Look then. at this. We've chosen this lovely location here mm. to do our age. Oh, on the landing. Look at that. Look at that hinge there. Look at <laughs> that. Hey, look at that. How we look after you. Well, nice house. Yes. We try not to say nice. But it's just a word that comes natural yeah. to us. It's, I think it's well laid out, actually. Yes. The Barwick. Um, and obviously, this is a show home. What you actually buy is a blank canvas. Yeah. To, to personalise yeah. and create so your dreams. There space. may be additions in this that, that won't be in your house. That's entirely up to you. Yes, this is. But anyway, I will put all of this detail about the Barwick in the description box down below. So don't forget to check that yeah. out. Also, there'll be uh, a link there back to Barrett's own website so that you can get in touch with this development uh, and ask about current availability and prices. It's a large scale development. There's a lot of new homes coming here over the next five years. So it's an ongoing yeah. build. And it is a lovely market town, Sam mm. Barrett's with great links to the motorway and crews not just too far away. And you are in Cheshire. You are. You have the, you have the Cheshire. coveted Cheshire postcode. Absolutely. And also, leave us a review on our Facebook page. That's really important you do that because the developers do like to see what you guys say. Mm -hmm. um, because sometimes I don't think they, but they can be bothered to read through the YouTube comments. So if you could do that, that would be brilliant because we review for you. So we'd like you to review us. Uh, and we've got another house to see, so we'll catch you on our next video. Bye. Bye-bye.